Hello, this is Lulu from As You Wish Pottery, and today we will be painting this reindeer family platter. Here's our supply list. Feel free to pause this section and take notes as we will begin shortly. Begin by using a pencil to sketch the reindeer illustration on the tracing paper. Then place the tracing paper on the middle of the platter and using a marker transfer the design onto the center of the platter. With long pieces of masking tape, mask off a square around the design. The next step will require an X-Acto knife or scissors. If one isn't readily accessible, go ahead and move on to the next step. And once you are able to use the X-Acto knife, feel free to go back to the step. And using the scissors or X-Acto knife, cut off the edges of the square. With a pencil, follow along the inside edge of the masking tape square to draw a guideline and create a border from the center. Use a large square brush to paint the rim around the outside of the tape square with two to three coats of red blaze. In this shot, I'm just showing you how I make my brush strokes. I try to stay um, from left to right or keep it the same direction as I brush, just to make sure that I'm covering my area as I should. It should be an even color um, that should dry evenly as well. Carefully remove the masking tape pieces. Now we're going to be using black puffy paint to outline the design on the center of the platter. Outline all the reindeers, their antlers, their eyes and noses and feet. A tip with puffy paint is to shake the bottle down really well before using, um, squeezing out any excess paint that is watery and unusable and making sure that your tip is unclogged as well as trying to have the same pressure as you go along in each part right so my biggest suggestion is that if your hand gets tired use both of your hands but just make sure that the pressure is still the same no matter where you are working from and move the platter around make it um, easy for you to outline and for you to have control of what you're doing now using the same black puffy paint, outline the square that is masked off, inside and outside lines. Fill in the reindeer's eyes using the Polar Bear Fun Rider. With the Red Blaze Fun Rider, fill in one of the reindeer's noses. Now let's fill in our reindeers. With the pumpkin pie fun writer, fill in the large reindeer on the left and the small reindeer on the lower right. With the chocolate mousse fun writer, fill in the other two reindeers. This process should resemble the, the way you apply royal icing to a cookie. The paint should pull and create an even layer. Move quickly and try not to scratch the parts already painted to avoid getting the fun writer tip clogged. With the Black Love Fun Rider, fill in the other reindeer's noses and place a dot for their eyes. Now fill in the border using a small round brush and about one heavy coat of Black Love paint. Let your border dry a couple of minutes and after use the white puffy paint to create swirls over the black border. Keep even pressure on the bottle and remember to let the paint fall onto the piece. Next use the pencil to lightly sketch the writing. Use black love paint for the writing. Feel free to do the writing with a long detail brush or a fun writer bottle, whichever way feels the most comfortable. Remember to start your paint thin and thicken up your lines as you go. The rest of this clip is going to be just me writing so you can see how I start off thin and then I thicken up my letters one by one. Um, I also move the platter around. I either write upside down or I tilt it in a way that makes my brush strokes a little bit easier to make um, just because I do not want the paint to be too fat but I also do not want to make it too skinny. So you just have to find that perfect um, balance just because we will be using white puffy paint on top of all the black letters so we want to be able to see them but we don't want it to be too thick 
with the fun rider i would just suggest the same thing make sure that you are squeezing um putting enough pressure so you can make your paint a little bit thicker but not too thick um, make sure that you let it dry really well before you continue on and if you make any mistakes remember you can scratch off the paint once it once it's dry a little put a little bit more red on there and try it again With the Polar Bear Fun Rider, I'm just adding highlights to the eyes and to the noses. And while the rest of the paint dries, I'm just going to use the Red Blaze Fun Rider to add dots on top of all the puffy paint swirls. Next, let's go over the writing with our white puffy paint bottle. Remember to shake off any excess paint before you start. Make sure your tip is not clogged. If you break um, at any point, remember to add little dots just for a whimsical touch. Use the back side of the small round brush or the Black Love Fun Writer to add dots around the red rim. Lastly, use a round sponge and red blaze paint to make sure that your rim is painted. And here's our jolly platter ready to be shared with the family. Thanks for watching and thanks for painting.